Okay, good morning. 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 Good morning, Pastor. Did you eat breakfast? Not yet, Pastor. Also did not eat breakfast and then wake up early. Last night, I slept very late. I spent six hours in preparing the message. And I wake up early this morning, cleaning, cleaning, take a bath and run from the town to come here. Oh, see? And when I come here, I have all of you and I prepare all of the things. See? And that, when you say, I got joy, I found it. Even something that even saying, even, it's not, you know, uh, action. Why? You know what? David, even he is a king. Yet, he's still dancing for God. Even those people is mocking at him. He's still dancing because, he's still singing, praising because he knows he's doing for God. Amen? Okay. Let's remain standing and let's pray. Okay, they are mine. Where is it now? Remain standing, let's pray. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this morning one more time. Lord, may you forgive our sins and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Help us, Father, this morning to study your word. How to be wise. How to become wise, not in this world, but wise in your sight, dear Lord. Help thy servant to de deliver your word in power, in love, in clarity. Thank you, Father, for this morning. In Jesus' mighty Savior's name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. May you sit down, please. Amen. Good morning. Okay. As if I'm shouting, the little girl will be afraid. Okay. So now, how to be wise? Okay. Arrange your set. Okay, done. Very good. Wow, well, Nana, it's not cold anymore. It's hot already. Okay, how to be wise? Now, when we think about the word wise, intelligent, intellect, uh, what do you think? If you search on Google, you will see like an old. You need to read a lot of books to become professor, to become wise. Or until you get very old. Now, I'm wise, I'm old and I'm wise. And later, little, no wise? No! Today, I will teach you what the Bible said, how to be wise. You know, when I search on Google, how to be wise to Google answer. Realize and fast and not assumptions. Most people make assumptions without realizing it. Blah, 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 blah. Think from this first principle, think from the first principles, was considered by the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle, blah, 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 blah. And then read a lot of uh, every white place, blah, blah, blah. Take enough time and to make decisions, blah, blah, blah. A lot of this. You know what? These things will not make you wise. Imagine that. You read a lot, read a lot, like read a lot of books. No! Only one. Today, I'll tell you a story. This is a Jewish man. Huh? He's a businessman, but he's from another place to another city. Okay? And then he has a bag of gold. And he think this in this city may be some robber or thief. So therefore, he dig under the tree, he dig it, and he hide his bag of gold under it. And, while, and, and, and he went into the city, and he checked out the people, and he found his business already. He went back to the tree, and he dig up. He cannot see his gold. And he stand and look afar. He saw the house over there. <coughs> And he think, oh, in that house, the, the window was open. So maybe when he did uh, over there, the man inside the house is getting his gold. So how to get back his gold? What do you think? How to get back his gold? You have no proof. You cannot go and, and, and get his back. You cannot search his house. Mm -hmm. What can he do? So he think, and he pray, and then God give him an idea. He go to the man, he tell the man, Sir, 
I am from a far country. I come to this city to a business. I have two sacks of gold, but one I bury in the tree, one I carry with me. But I'm thinking, is it safe for me to carry? Maybe it's not safe. What will I do? Can you give me an advice? And the man said, "Huh? He has another bag of gold? Wow." Huh? Okay, okay. Uh, I think it's not safe for you to bring your gold. I think you just bury that bag the same place that you bury the bag before. And then, oh, thank you, sir, for your advices. I will do it. And then, the man, he oh, will going to do it this time, in tomorrow. So that night, the man will go back and return the bag of gold over there. Because he expecting that he will receive two, mm. but on the next day, <laughs> the Jewish man come back and get his bag of gold and go away. See that? Because of his greedy. Is he wise? Do you want to be wise like him? Yes. Yes. And there is only one thing will make you wise. Only one thing. We make you wise. This is Amen. the Bible. Amen. It's not many books, like in Google said, but it's only one book will make you wise. And the Bible said, "Now, how do you take your Bible? You make it like that, full of dirt, because just uh, throw it in the corner, and then you forget, and you go and play cell phone, cell phone. Where's my Bible?" Where's my Bible, Mama? Okay, I borrow your Bible, and Mama, I go to school. And then you forget your Bible for weeks. And then when you come back, you see it. It's very thick of dust already. See that? The way you treat your Bible is the same your future will be. The way you treat your Bible is the same your future will be. If you read it, you treasure it. Your life will be prosperous, but if you ignore it, your life will be miserable. The Bible said, "Oh, look at this. The Jews need only half of the Bible to win 22 percent of Nobel Prize. Imagine that. That is a history fact. And the Jews they believe only Old Testament, only half of the Bible. But we have the complete Bible." What have you done with it? Are you reading your Bible daily? Mm. Yes, Amen, teacher. Because I daily I come here in the class, I read the Bible. <laughs> But at home, no more. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, teacher, you correct. The Bible said Timothy, Second Timothy, three fifteen. Let's read together. Ready? Begin. And that's Thou hast know the Holy Scripture. Which are able to make these wise unto salvation to faith with this in Christ Jesus. The Holy Scripture which are able to make thee wise. And then Psalm chapter verse ninety verse seven. Let's read together. Ready? Begin. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making the wise the simple. What is simple? Another word is foolish. Making wise the simple. Making another word is lampiok and guyai. The foolish will become wise. The word of God will make the fool become wise. You see that? And it will make the one that wise in this world will become fool. If you do not believe it, so therefore, how to be wise? I have only five points this morning. One hour preaching. Are you ready? Long time no hear in preaching, right? Okay. Number one, two, to hear. Number two, to hear. Number three, to hear. Number four, to hear. And number five, to help. Now, what is to hear? To hail to God means 
to seek God, to fear Him, and to praise Him. Matthew chapter 2, verse 1. And when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, who seek Jesus? When the baby Jesus, he, he, and bé Giêsu được sinh ra đời, trên đó, ai đi tìm Chúa Giêsu? Who, who? The wise man. See that? The only the wise man seek for God. Are you wise? Seek God. And then, Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. Let's read together. Begin. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And, and the knowledge of the Holy is understanding. See that? Number one, we have to hear God. We have to seek God. We have to fear the Lord. Okay? And number two, very fast. Amen. <coughs> if no amen, I will reach two hours. <laughs> amen. 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 To hear. Amen. Listen to his commandments. Listen to his instruction. Listen to his counsel. <coughs> For you to hear, you have to be awake. Amen. Right? Because when you're sleeping, how can you hear? <laughs> when you're thinking about your girlfriend and your, your body is here, but your mind is thinking about other things, how can you hear? Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Ramas 1.5 A wise, a wise man. man will? Yeah. A wise man will? Yeah. See that? Listen and will? Increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. See that? Do you understand? Amen. Do you need me to translate? No. Very easy, right? My English is simple English. Proverbs 8.33 Hear the instruction and be wise. Be what? Wise. Wise. And refuse it not. You want to be wise, you have to hear the Bible. Good. Did you hear the Bible at home? Did you hear the Bible on Saturday when there's no class? Did you hear the Bible when it's Sunday when there's no class? Uh, I hear the Bible on Saturday. Yes! Go to church. Did you go to church yesterday? Yes. Did you go to church yes. yesterday? Tell your mama, mama, daddy, I want to become wise. Yes. I want to go to church. Not wish, that's wise. Long eye. <laughs> I want to become wise. I want to go to church to hear God's word, to hear instruction, to hear godly counsel. Bring your parents. Okay? Number three. Christian need to grow. Okay, Christian need to grow. Number three, to to hear means to follow, not only to hear, but to follow his commandments, to follow his instructions, to follow his counsels. Amen. Because if you hear and you not follow, what will happen? If you know the law, the Buddhist says, do not cross the red light. And then the Elsa. Elisa. Elisa. <laughs> Sorry. Elisa. She was so hurry. And because she was late. And she ran, 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 ran across the red light. What will happen? Nam Chap Yin. Diba? 500,000 dong pay the fine. Cross the red line. If you hear the instruction and do not apply it, <coughs> This will be useless. Right? Look at this. Jesus said, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them will like it unto a of a wise man. You hear and doeth them, you will be like a wise man which built his house upon the rock. The word of God. Is the basic foundation for our faith. This is our rock. Amen. The Lord is our rock. This Bible is our rock where we stand and it will never be shaken. 
Even the storm, the typhoon. Amen. Nothing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher, I've never seen typhoon here in Dalat. No, oh, she said oh, nothing, oh. <laughs> because you never seen typhoon. You go to the yes. middle of Vietnam. Okay? Diva Ming Tung Ba Mu Ao, they go say Thai. Proverbs 10, 8. A wise in heart will receive commandments, but a sporting, sprouting fool shall fall. See that? Do you want to fall? Do you want to fall? It's very painful. <coughs> Teacher, what kind of fall you mean? You know what? In our lives, when you have accident, I had accident last three months, it's not so painful. It's so painful when you have miserable lives. Example, do you know your future husband? Yeah. Your future wife? Yeah. Oh, my future wife is so beautiful, teacher, pastor. And you know what? And She's beautiful, but she's going with another man after one month. <laughs> hey, do you know your future, future children? I know. I know that there was a doctors. The husband and the wife are doctors in the big hospital. They are very rich. And you know what happened to the children? There is abnormal kids. Abnormal kids. They just seven years old already. Does not know how to speak. <coughs> yes, two kids, not only one. Yes, these doctors they are wise in this world. They are rich in this world, but they are foolish in God. They didn't believe the Bible. You know what? That is the fall that you can never avoid. Therefore, listen, trust God. You will have a best of future for your wife, for your children, which those you do not know. The partners in your life, you cannot control those things. But God can. Okay? Successful is not counting by money, by achievement in your life, but by your relationship with others, people. Number four. So, to head that head to what? To, is this a verb? A verb? The verb is to head, right? To head it, to prepare oneself for the coming of Christ. Jesus is coming again. Jesus said, the wise took oil in their vessel with their lamps. This is story about the woman that's waiting for her husband. The wise woman took oil with them, preparing for the husband to come. Okay? This is a story of the marriage. I will not talk about that. But I will say, Jesus is coming again. Amen? Jesus is the husband of the church. And he's coming again. And look what Jesus said. In the last book of our Bible, in the last chapter, verse 12. Let's read together. Ready? Begin. And behold, my reward is with me to give to every man according as his work shall be. See, what did Jesus say? My reward is with me. Hey, behold! What is behold? Stop! Look! 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 Behold! Take attention on me. Behold! That is have attention on me. I come quickly, Jesus said. And my reward is with me. Imagine the reward of Jesus is not like the reward of the school. It's not like the reward of the parents. It's not the like reward of anyone else in this earth. Corruptible. But the reward of Jesus is incorruptible and lasts to eternal. And he come with his reward and he give. Hey, Alisa, what is your word? Hey, what's your name? Lin. Lin, what is your work? What is your work for me? Nothing? No reward. Oh, what is your work for me? Did you read my words every day? Oh, no, so no reward. See that? 
If Jesus is coming today with his reward is with him, will you, will us receive his reward? Come on. The wise person will look for Jesus and his coming. Let's go to church. Let's study the word of God. Let's read the word of God. That we will be wise. Let's worship God. Amen. What's your name again? I forgot. Samuel. Samuel. Mom, I want to go to church. Samuel, do you want to become wise? Mom, I want to go to church. Let's go to church this Sunday. I want to hear the preaching. So you can become wise. Right? Number five. What is number five? To help. To help is to bring souls to the saving knowledge of Christ. What another word? To share Jesus to other people. Have you ever tell Jesus to your friend? In the park, Elisha, have you ever tell Jesus to other people in the park, your friends, your classmates, your friends on Facebook? Oh no! You have to help them to know Jesus. If you really have Jesus, you have to help them. Just tell them, Jesus loves you. Simple like that. Pray and tell them. Jesus loves you. Because without Jesus, where they will go? They will go to hell eternal. See that? Proverbs 11, 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. wise. Share Jesus to others. Okay? So how to become wise? There are five things. Let's read together. Number one. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Okay. Number one, two. To heal. Number two. To hear. Number three. To lead. Number four. To help. And number five. To help. I hope the word of God go into your heart. Let's praise God in helping him. Seeking God. Let's hear his instruction. His words, His commandment, His statutes. Let's heed, let's follow, let's do what He commanded us to do. Let's head it, let's head it toward the coming of Christ. And let's help, let's help bringing the gospel, let's bring in Jesus' love to all the people around us. Let's pray. Gracious, mighty Father, thank you, dear Lord, for this morning. Thank you, dear Lord, for your wonderful grace to us. Help all, each one of us, dear Lord, to, to be wise in your word, to be wise in your sight, dear Lord, by all the things that you have taught us, to hail your presence, to seek God, to hear your instruction, to heed, to follow what you want us to do, and to head toward the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and to help others by sharing God's love to other people. Thank you, dear Lord, for this reminder. Help these children to grow in the Lord and to have the desire to come and worship God and serve us on Sunday that they will grow more and be wise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Okay, thank you, Pastor.